please rise for our first para. We came upon midnight clear, which is voice of midnight at 44, or the words will be on the screen. Community and in fact, 
To anyone who may have found over the years that church is a less than welcoming place, we strive to live into this commitment to be bold and inclusive, loving in the way that Jesus did in his preaching and teaching and in his choice of companions. We also acknowledge our debt of gratitude to peoples who have recognized the sacredness of this land for millennia. We name the signatories of Treaty 7. The Stony Nakoda peoples, Chiniki, Good Stony, and Bearspaw, the Blackfoot Confederacy, Siksika, Pekani, and Kainai, the Satina, and those beyond the treaty, including the Katunaha, the Sequekmich, and the Métis Nation of Alberta, District 3. May our commitment to reconciliation be heartfelt and backed with meaningful action. So, Yet again, it seems like every time we turn around, we're welcoming you, but we hope you are welcome here tonight uh, and, and feeling that. Uh, my name is Reverend Greg Woolley. It's been my pleasure to be in ministry with this congregation now in my 11th year. And uh, it is a wonderful group to be with and, and so glad that all of you can be here tonight. The service does have no fewer than nine carols, so if you want to sing, this is the place to do it. Uh, and you know what? It's the time for you to sing out loud and proud, regardless of whether you're a confident singer or not. And rather than being built around a sermon, today's service is built around three longer-focused prayers. As uh, Ian has already mentioned, uh, we do have a simple communion service here, tomorrow morning at 10 o'clock as well, and you are most welcome to join us for that. Whether this building is a familiar place to you, or if you are here for the first time tonight, we hope you feel at home here this evening. We relight the candle of peace and the practice of going for a mindful winter walk. We relight the candle of joy and the practice of thankfulness for the gift of good food in this holiday season. And we relight the candle of love and the practice of hospitality offered and received. there were nine carols. No, we don't expect you to stand nine times. Uh, at least my knees start saying no after about six. So uh, please remain seated for the singing of our next carol, A Little Town of Bethlehem, Voices United <coughs>
Schneider from the King James. And it came to pass in those days that there went out a decree from Caesar Augustus that all the world should be taxed. And this taxing was the first made by Serenius, governor of Syria. And all went to be taxed, every one into his own city. And Joseph also went up from Galilee, out of the city of Nazareth, into Judea, unto the city of David, which is called Bethlehem. He was of the lineages of King David. To be taxed with Mary, his espoused wife, being great with child. And so it was that while they were there, the days were accomplished that she should be delivered. And she brought forth her firstborn son and wrapped him in swaddling clothes and laid him in a manger because there was no room for them in the inn. Please rise for our next carol, number 59, Joy to the World. Justice through your ears, engage the world's problems with your mind, respond to need with your hands and feet. If we are to be church, let us be your body, Christ Jesus, mobilized in advocacy and service. We pray for the ongoing ministry of the United Church of Canada in its nearly 3,000 congregations across this nation. 
We pray for our newly elected moderator, the very Reverend Dr. Carmen Lansdowne, Quiaslaw, the woman who travels to places far away. May we indeed find relevance and action in the communities in which we serve, seeking to be a bold, connected, evolving church of diverse, courageous, hope-filled communities, united in deep spirituality, inspiring worship, and daring justice. We pray for the communities of faith in Banff and Canmore, Rundle Memorial and Ralph Connor Memorial, as we take this big step of amalgamating on New Year's Day. Bring us creativity, boldness, and wisdom, O God. We give thanks for over 130 years that each congregation brings to this new ministry together, even as we rightfully lament places where our actions in past have been harmful or misguided. As communities of faith with a growing connection with church leaders of the Stony Nakoda, may we be places of reconciliation and new vision. As affirming ministries, may our intentions grow into deep invitation, welcome, and action. We give thanks for the varied ministries of these places, ministries of healing, of music, of contemplation, of learning, specific outreach to young adults, formal connection to bring refugees to safety, and tonight we offer special prayers for the Bati family and for Abba. Holy One, may we always be humble and respectful as church and as Christians as we interact with people who hear your call in other ways or whose lives are motivated by loving principles not shaped in a religious way, make us open companions on a shared path. O Christ, in this place, and in all places that bear your name, may we always be motivated by your justice-seeking love for the good of all the earth and the well-being of all your children. May this be so. Amen. Amen. Please rise for our next hymn. Part the Herald Angels. <laughs>
And there were in the same country shepherds abiding in the field, keeping watch over their flocks by night. And lo, the angel of the Lord came upon them, and the glory of the Lord shone round about them, and they were sore afraid. And the angel said unto them, Fear not, for behold, I bring you good tidings of great joy, which shall be to all people. For unto you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, which is Christ the Lord. And this shall be a sign unto you. Ye shall find the babe wrapped in swaddling clothes, lying in a manger. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly host praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace, goodwill toward men. Please remain seated as we sing while shepherds watch their flocks by night, Choices United 75.
We name with sadness some incidents of violence in this past year, seeking safety for all. And we do some soul searching in your presence, O oh God. May we balance our thirst to experience all parts of this planet with the costs to the environment associated with extensive travel. We pray for guidance as we participate in the circular economy through the Rundle Thrift Shop, thankful that we can reuse rather than spending resources to always make new. In this holiday season, we pray for neighbors of all ethnicities, all faith backgrounds, and we open our hearts to those who may be homesick. So many people's livelihoods here are based on service. May we, in Christ's name, reach back to them in service and loving kindness. For the needs of all communities we regard as neighbors, from Lake Louise to Minisni and all the places in between, may we be engaged and open and unafraid. May there be peace in this place, a peace founded in equity, justice, and health for all. Amen. Amen. Please rise for our next barrel. We'll come all you can.
And it came to pass, as the angels were gone away from them into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, Let us now go even unto Bethlehem, and see this thing which has come to pass, which the Lord hath made known unto us. And they came with haste, and found Mary, and Joseph, and the babe lying in the manger. And when they had seen it, they made known abroad the saying which was told them this morning this child. And all that they heard, and all they that heard it, wondered at those things which were told them by the shepherd. But Mary kept these things, and pondered them in her heart. And the shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all the things that they had heard. As was told to them. We continue our worship now as we present our offering. Jesus was born in Bethlehem of Judea, in the days of Herod the king. Behold, there came wise men from the east to Jerusalem, saying, Where is he that is born king of the Jews? For we have seen his star in the east, and we have come to worship him. Then Herod, when he had privily called the wise men, inquired of them digitally, <laughs> uh, what time the star appeared. And he sent them to Bethlehem and said, Go and search diligently for the young child, and when you have found him, bring me word again, that I may come to worship him also. 
When they had heard the king, they departed. And lo, the star which they had saw in the east went before them till it came and stood over where the young child was. When they saw the star, they rejoiced with exceeding joy. And when they were coming to the house, they saw the young child with Mary, his mother, and fell down and worshipped him. And when they had opened their treasures, they presented to him, unto him gifts, gold, frankincense, and myrrh. Our next carol is one of the carols about the Magi. The first Noel is for Macy.
and final major prayer time are prayers for the world. Let us pray. What lies ahead in 2023, O oh God? We cannot know. And so we turn to you in faith, seeking to be grounded in your creative, adaptive love as we meet the challenges and opportunities of a new year. We pray for all places whose lives who have been challenged by war and continue to be. In 2022, Ukraine has been at the front of our consciousness, and we pray for an end to the aggression and bloodshed there. We also bring forward our concern for all places where war is ongoing. Yemen, Syria, Myanmar, Somalia and Ethiopia, Libya, the Central African Republic. And we pray for all places in the world where there is suppression of rights for women and girls, for the LGBTQ community, for indigenous peoples. We pray for those nations in this world who contribute little to the climate crisis but carry an inordinate share of the consequences. We pray for better decisions by the governments and industries and our own daily practices which have kept loading this environmental burden on others. We give thanks for the ways that voices previously unheard can now be heard largely by widespread social media and yet we pray for a new and healthier place for social media in this world. We imagine with you, O oh God, a world in which offering opinions is tempered with listening. A world in which factfulness and truthfulness become more important than seeding and feeding suspicion and fear. A world in which fear of missing out or a fear of body shaming or nasty gossip is replaced by your desire that we treat our neighbor as ourselves. In all of this, we pray that you will use all of our abilities, Holy One, our ability to listen, to reason, to be responsible stewards of this earth and justice-seeking, peaceable neighbors, that you will use our ability to recognize that we have agency to contribute to positive change. And keep us open, we pray, to your presence as you nudge us toward healthy ways of being in this world and challenge us to stop unhealthy. May 2023 be a better year for the world of God. We pray in trust and faith and hope and full engagement with your will. Amen. 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 Please remain seated for the singing of What Child Is This?
the beginning of this service, we lit, we lit the four Advent candles, and now we prepare to lit the Christ candle. Recall when the angel said to the shepherds, Do not be afraid, for see, I'm bringing you good news of great joy for all the people. What gifts does Jesus bring to the new world? Jesus helps us go deep with God and experience peace like a river, joy everlasting, and love for all. Christmas is the beginning of this new world, a better world, that we are bodily invited to create together as followers of the Christ child. May it be so. Amen. Amen.